This tradition can be a big payday for parents every year. In this episode, I'm going to address the question, what is the best way to make New Year's resolutions that you'll keep? We do this as a family and you're going to be blown away. And at the end, I'm going to give you a link where you can download a PDF of this tool that I'm going to share with you. So get ready. So my name's Doug Andrew, and I've helped many, many people through my books, uh, this YouTube channel, Three Dimensional Wealth, also through my weekly radio show and uh, TV programs, optimize not just their financial assets, but I've helped many, many people be able to live a more abundant life and uh, to empower their children and grandchildren and help them to set goals and achieve those goals. And so I have several tools that I've developed to help people live a more abundant life. And in this episode, I'm going to share one of our favorite tools that we use every single year in the month of December, not only with our children and grandchildren, but we also use this with our employees at our uh, year end uh, sort of uh, Christmas celebration, the holidays where our employees and our company are making goals, resolutions. And so the problem is a lot of people will uh, write down New Year's resolutions. And this is why you'll see a lot of the uh, fitness centers, the gyms just packed on January 2nd. But then what happens by February or March? You're, you're in the gym and you're like, hello, hello, where did everybody go? because uh, making sure that you follow through and keep those resolutions is the most difficult part. So in this episode, I'm going to share with you one of our favorite ways to make sure that those you care about will uh, set resolutions or goals in 10 relationships in their life for the coming year and then be accountable to each other throughout the year. This is what I call the 10 relationship breakthrough. And I'm going to go through and explain the 10 relationships on the front and back of this form. And you'll have uh, the opportunity to download a free copy of this form at the end. And I'm going to show you a break, B-R-E-A-K, a breakthrough that happens when you write down your resolutions and your goals because break is an acronym. And you're going to learn what it means to be able to have a breakthrough and make sure that the chance that you achieve those resolutions go from maybe 30 or 40 percent up to over 90 percent chance they will come to fruition. So let me explain how the 10 relationship breakthrough works and what the acronym break means. Here on the screen is a copy of this form and you'll be able to download a PDF of this if you'd like. I'll give you a link at the end. And this is our favorite exercise that we do every uh, year in December in our living room with our children and grandchildren that are eight years old and older. We do this with our employees. Uh, and so listen close. I list 10 relationships that I want to uh, improve in my New Year's resolutions. So what we do is we gather together and I pass out the sheet of paper, which has two sides to it. Okay. And uh, down one side is my goal or my vision for the next year. So if I'm uh, sitting in the room in the year 2021, I'm looking at the year 2022. And so as I'm thinking about these goals, uh, what has to have happened in the next year for me to be happy with the progress I made in these 10 relationships. And so that's the first box. And uh, we have financial, okay, your self-reliance, uh, your mental and intellectual. We have over here your business, job, work, or school. You have here your church or community service. Uh, you have uh, your, uh, also your social groups and so forth. And so those are the first 10 categories. 
Uh, when you flip it over, it's your relationship with deity, uh, with your spouse or your parents, with your siblings, with your friends, uh, with your health and so forth. So I'm gonna show you how this works. As we go down the list, it takes a few minutes and the frame of mind is to write in past tense. That's key and I'll explain why. So as they begin to fill this out, <clears throat> if they were thinking about a year from today, when I'm sitting here, because they will be sitting there, what has to have happened in the year 2022 for me to be happy with the progress I made in my relationship with deity, with God? Uh, to be closer to God and, and exercise more faith, maybe you write down, okay? Uh, and then over here, we have what is called the breakthrough. So B stands for the barriers that you need to overcome. R stands for the resources. Well, I, I, I don't feel like praying when I need to the most. Okay, that's a barrier I have to overcome. The resources is to read and study scriptures before I pray. Uh, the experiences that I have to have is when I draw near to God, he always draws it nearest to me and I know that, okay? The action when I plug in my cell phone, okay? At night to uh, get it recharged, I will plug into God. So that's my action trigger. Whenever I plug in my cell phone before going to bed, it reminds me to plug into God and have a prayer, okay? Knowledge, read my scriptures before bed every day, okay? So those are the barriers, resources, experiences I need to have and the action steps I need to take and the knowledge I need to obtain. So as you go through, uh, you have here to have a weekly date night and lunches, that's with my wife. And I go through and I identify the breakthrough in order to do that. Uh, the third one down here is my relationship to our adult children, to interact with each of my children on their birthdays, take them to lunch or dinner, what have you. And I write down the same thing, the barriers, the resources, the experiences, the action steps and the knowledge I need to obtain. You can see this uh, as you go into some of my other videos that I've covered this on. Next would be my relationship uh, to uh, uh, be able to expand my family to my siblings. Well, it's to hold an I Remember When retreat with my siblings. This is where we get together one day a year and we actually uh, go around and share and record three memories. Uh, one after dinner, one after breakfast the next day, and one after lunch. And we record with my 10 siblings 30 new memories in our record. So we talk about how we're going to break through and do that and set that New Year's resolution. Down here, uh, exercise with my, uh, with my physical health. Do cardio three times weekly, work out uh, with a trainer uh, two times weekly, and also meet with a nutritionist. Same thing, I'm filling out what the breakthrough is going to be with that New Year's resolution. And of course, on the reverse side, you're doing it with the other relationships also. So in order to go through and fill this out, normally it takes our family about 15 or 20 minutes. I, ha I usually have them fill down uh, the, the left-hand column first, and then they fill out the breakthrough. Once you get warmed up, it's quite fast so that at the end, every one of those who are doing the exercise are filling out what has to have happened in 10 relationships in their life during the next year. And it's key to write in past tense as I'm gonna share with you. And then they fill out, okay, what barriers need to be overcome? What resources to draw from? What experiences do you need to have? What are the specific action steps and what knowledge do you need to draw from or obtain? to have that breakthrough. This breakthrough takes your chance of that coming to fruition from maybe 40 or 50% up to over 90% and I'm going to explain next why. So again, at the end of this episode, I'm going to give you a link where you can download a PDF of this and use it however you would like. There's also some other tools in there that you may be interested in. They're free and so stay with me to the end, but I wanna share with you right now the power of doing this exercise, as I said in past tense. Whenever you're setting goals or New Year's resolutions in this case, you're writing down in the first box in every one of those 10 relationships uh, in past tense, 
what has to have happened during the year 2022 uh, with this relationship with your body, with your money, with your job, with your family, with your kids, with your parents, with God uh, during the year uh, to be happy with the progress you made. But you want to write in past tense. I've already done this. Uh, I, I feel closer to God. I, I now have this much money. I now run three times a week. It's not, I hope to. Uh, this is very powerful. Now, if you know who Tony Robbins is, uh, he's actually a personal friend of mine, and uh, I have spoken for him uh, at a couple of his events. Uh, one, I spoke for over four hours. He recorded it and played my presentation in, in Fiji. Uh, he owns an island in Fiji. But uh, I was also participating in one of his flagship events called uh, uh, UPW, uh, Unleash the Power Within. And so when I go to an event like this, I was a VIP, complimentary, because I had spoken for him. Uh, I, I'm all in, unless it's against my values or something. Now, if you've ever uh, heard of these events, uh, Tony, the very first day of UPW, he likes you to accomplish something that you uh, thought was maybe impossible. Uh, when he first started with small audiences, he would have everybody jump out of an airplane, skydive, and overcome that fear. Uh, when his audiences got to be uh, a couple of thousand, 3,000, even 4,000 people, he resorted to walking on fire, walking on, on red hot coals that are 1,800 to 2,200 degrees. And so uh, it was amazing at this first day in this event in Schaumburg, Illinois, he began to condition the audience to walk on a bed of live coals for about 30 yards uh, that evening at, uh, you know, nine o'clock. And uh, long story short, he begins to go through and teach the audience several different ways to be able to accomplish this. Like uh, we had to practice for an hour, uh, mentally thinking we, we were not walking on, on hot coals. It was cool moss, cool moss, cool moss, cool moss, cool moss. And we had to drill that into our head. Another time uh, we had to visualize someone we loved, like my wife uh, uh, being attacked by a bunch of uh, predators and I, nothing would stand in the way, sharks, fire, and I would go rescue her. And he had all of these methods and he also would teach us how to get down in our core and walk as if nobody could push us over. So he, he taught us a, a strategy every hour the entire day and he would show images of these big timbers out in the parking lot that were soaked in kerosene and lit on fire around noon. And they would be perfect coals uh, that evening at nine o'clock and he would get us psyched up to be able to walk across those. I've done enough of this mind conditioning that I knew I could do it, but I, I saw some in the audience, some of these young ladies uh, with their pedicured uh, uh, toenails and they were still in awe. Oh, look at Tony Robbins. And I knew that those toenails were going to be ugly if they didn't get with it. He knows that. And so he would condition them and he would not allow them to walk across the coals unless they were ready. But why does he do this? Now, I was right with him. I had to follow him out to the parking lot and walk right after him because I was on the front row, uh, VIP, this, the spit zone. And uh, I knew I could do it. And I'm telling you, I walked across uh, live coals for at least 30, 30, 40 steps. And I didn't even get a red spot on the bottom of my feet. And those coals were 1800 to 2200 degrees because I did what he said. Now, before you uh, come off and get out of state, because you get in this state of mind that protects you, uh, you have to, he, he, he has his staff there and they say, get out of state. Uh, and then you shake the coals out from between your toes before you do that. And they spray off the coals with, uh, with water. And then they say, get out of state. Then you can celebrate because if you go out of state prematurely, uh, he sh has shown pictures of his feet that were bubbled up with uh, second degree burns. Now, why does he do this? Because every other event that you go to, whenever he says, get into state, it means get into the state of mind when you accomplish something that you thought was impossible. Because when he asks us to set goals, he wants us to be in the state of mind that there is no other option. We will achieve this. We can do this because we've done it before. We've achieved the impossible. That's the power behind this exercise. When you get into the state of mind that it's already happened, you write in past tense, that's half the battle because you're reporting 
as if it's already happened because you're putting yourself mentally one year down the road and what happened in these 10 relationships for you to be happy with the progress you made. Are you getting it? So I cannot overemphasize the power of writing down clearly in past tense uh, what has to have happened in these 10 relationships in the first boxes in that year for you to be happy with the progress you made. It's, it's that state of mind that you've already accomplished it, which is half the battle. Uh, you have to see the end result in mind as Stephen Covey would teach. Now, don't also uh, underestimate the power of the break. Uh, B-R-E-A-K again stands for the barriers. So give them enough time after they have written down the, the 10 relationships that they want to have a, a major advancement in their life during that year, what has to have happened for them to be happy with the progress they made. But they have to identify the barriers that need to be overcome, the roadblocks, the hindrances. Uh, and also the R stands for resources. What resources are they going to draw from? E is the experiences they need to draw from or have in order to uh, make sure that comes to fruition. A is the action steps. You've got to have specific action steps that you're going to take. And then, of course, the K stands for the knowledge that you need to draw from or, or get from grandma and grandpa or their professor or their teacher or that they need to obtain by reading or studying or watching or listening to something. Once they have the breakthrough filled out and you share three, the probability that those goals will come to fruition goes through the roof the way that we also do it is we share, because when you share your goals in, a, in an abundant-minded mindset, everybody's on board and they know what your goals are. And so let's say you want to lose weight and you want to watch your uh, eating and, and not eat too, too many desserts or whatever. We all indulge sometimes like, you know, Thanksgiving. Instead of having family members with a scarcity mindset who are jealous because they don't want you to lose weight or you, <laughs> you'll make them look bad, uh, you want abundant-minded people that, get, that say, hey, we all cheat now and then. Let's uh, meet together in the morning and let's go for a little jog. See, you have cheerleaders because they know your sincere desire. And I'm going to share uh, a, an actual story of how our daughter-in-law achieved what we thought was nearly impossible by using this concept. So make sure you fill out the entire form and share with others. And then maybe quarterly, like we do in our family, we sort of return as a family in our living room and report on how we're doing so that the chance that it comes to fruition goes even higher. So again, let me connect the dots for you. The reason why I like the 10 relationship breakthroughs is because it is the most powerful way to gather together with those you care about, whether it's an employee party at year end, uh, or it's with your children and grandchildren like we do in December with all of the eight year olds and older among the grandkids. This is a way to be interested in those you care about and come together in an abundant minded mindset to where uh, everybody shares what has to have happened in that year to be happy with the progress they made. And as you go around and share in the room, you'll notice that uh, people get very, very uh, somber and serious. I uh, mentioned when our daughter-in-law did this several years ago, uh, she broke down and one of her goals uh, was to somehow be able to miraculously conceive a child. Uh, my son and her had been trying for five years to conceive a child and they were okay with adopting. And before they were going to make one final attempt at in vitro fertilization, uh, we had this exercise and uh, in tears, uh, she asked for everybody's faith and prayers because she really would like to conceive uh, their first child. We came together in that setting and you would never convince me in a million years that this would have ever happened had we not had this exercise because uh, it was only a couple of months later that uh, she came and announced at our home that she had miraculously conceived naturally before their final attempt at in vitro fertilization. And uh, she was pregnant with a little boy named Ethan Douglas. Now, 
he's so cute that they almost moved his middle name up to his first name, okay? But uh, then they were able to miraculously conceive uh, two other little girls, uh, Taylor and little Emily. Now, it's because we went around as a family and shared our goals and what we wanted to have happen that we understood what each other uh, really wanted to achieve and we were able to unitedly uh, bring our support together, faith, prayers, and what have you. When you share with abundant-minded people, they will be your best cheerleaders. So don't underestimate the power of doing this exercise. If you want to learn more about this and other tools, uh, you can get a free copy. Uh, claim your free copy of this book, Entitlement Abolition. It's about 200 pages. It's got 12 chapters in it. You go to entitlementabolitionbook.com and you contribute a nominal amount towards the shipping and handling, and I'll cover the rest of that cost, and I'll fire out a book to you. But if you would like to download a free PDF of this 10 Relationship Breakthrough, then you can go to EA Book, Entitlement Abolition is what EA stands for, in eabooktools.com. Search for the 10 Relationship Breakthrough, download your PDF, and I hope this becomes a tradition in your family like it is with us and also what we call our family with our company, our own employees.